Hello, and thank you for joining me to be still in the Word of God. Today we will be meditating on the book of Isaiah 41, verse 10. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Get in a comfortable position and begin to rest. Become aware of any tension in your body or even in your face. Release that tension. Release any tension on your body, on your arms, on your back, on your shoulders, and simply begin to rest. In the book of Ephesians 2 verse 14, it is written that Jesus is is our peace. Jesus is our peace. He doesn't just give us peace, but He is our peace. Begin to think of Jesus as that peace that dwells within you. times when it doesn't feel like we have peace living within us. We get so caught up in our daily lives and our daily routines, perhaps with virtual meetings, with constant messages, constant emails or social media. We occupy our minds with many things, seeking to find rest or entertainment or other external things, yet it is all that no avail. Because our peace can only come from within. Because Jesus is our peace and he dwells in us. So let us quiet our minds, be still and know that God is in our midst. Again, release any tension on your body. Release any tension on your forehead. Release any tension on your arms. And as you relax, take a moment to take a deep breath. Breathe in. Hold it, exhale, take a deep breath, hold it, exhale. Take a deep breath, hold it. Exhale. I will go over today's verse for our meditation. If at any point you get distracted or your mind begins to wander, just go back to your breathing so that way you can get back on track. I will begin with a prayer to pray over your life. Abba Father, I thank you for allowing rest for your child. I pray that he or she will find rest in your presence and that your spirit will grant revelation through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Stop for a moment and ask yourself, are there any areas of my life 
where I am afraid. Are there any areas where I feel uncertain? During these times when things seem uncertain, we see death around us, sickness around us, or perhaps even lack or need. Are any of these things bringing you fear about the future? easy to fall into the negativity that surrounds us, but these things come as no surprise to God, and here he tells us, fear not, fear not, amid all that is happening in the world, and we become aware of how little control we have, the one who is in control, he says to us, not and he tells us the reason why we shouldn't fear because I am with you visualize God with you not just next to you or all around you but visualize God as he is spirit living inside of you. His spirit is alive in you. And so he reminds you, fear not, because I am with you. we may feel weak when trouble comes when we hear bad news when you are weak he reminds you that he will strengthen you he will strengthen you the creator of heaven and earth of the entire universe he tells you that he will strengthen you visualize God sitting right next to you aware of your fears aware of your doubts aware of what is troubling you and he is telling you will strengthen you. Through prayer, through his word, and quiet moments such as these, when you seek him, he will strengthen you. Take a moment to think about that. of the creator of this entire universe, the one who created the depths of the seas, that same creator will strengthen you. Many times when we are in trouble or when things get out of our control, we rush to external things. We seek for help or comfort, whether it's social media, other people, our resources, or even our finances. But this verse clearly tells you, I will strengthen you and I will help you. 
rompido. Get a mental image of God himself extending his hand out to you. Visualize his hand reaching out and saying to you, I will help you. I will help you. In what areas could you use help right now? In what areas do you realize and acknowledge that you simply can't do it on your own? Today, the Lord is saying, I will help you. And not only help you, but I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The God that is righteous, just, and faithful is giving you an amazing promise. Think of those promises that are all in one verse. First, it tells you, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Let those words sink into your heart. Ponder them. Think on these promises. I will read the verse again a little bit slower. As I read the verse, be attentive to the words that God is giving you and the message that He wants you to receive. As we ask the Holy Spirit to give you revelation from this verse. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Again, I will go over this verse. Let these words sink into your heart. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Again, I will go over this verse. Let these words sink into your heart. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I pray today that these words have sunk into your spirit that they have sunk into your heart 
not only that they have provided rest for you today, but that you have actually received revelation from the Creator of heaven and earth and everything in it. There is no need to fear because God is telling you that He is with you. And if God before you, who can be against you?